As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Fail ho! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to corners. All hands to cannons. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against them, shall we? Aye, right, good thinking. Grab up 
stuck on the wind. Fire! He's weak, he's right there, Captain. Fire! Ready to fire, sir. Trim the yards off the wind. Do not let the ram us Fire! Fire! You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, but I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Hi, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet. Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So... What's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> We trade advisors, Mr. Beckford knows are fair, and with a quality he knows is sound. Aye, this hearty molasses and raw cane, that's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. What? Who's there? Lay 
Jones, is he? Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. 